Hi guys, Dave from FHHUK.com here. Uh, early early um, beer review. Normally do the midnight beer reviews um, during the week, but why is that doing that? I don't know. Here we go. Anyway, is it recording? We're all on business. Uh, yeah, normally do uh, beer reviews midweek, midnight, but um, 20 to 6 in the afternoon, early evening, but it's Friday, you see. So, so tonight's um, beer. It's a little bit different. It's the beast. Here we go, look at this. Look at this beast. Beast. Look at that. You can't see it. There we go. Left. Plum beer. This is a 700, 750 mil, guys. 750 mil. And you've got to get all this junk off the top first. Which I should have done before I started to video anyway let's give it a go and as you can see it's got this um screw cap thing on it with a cork and all that so if i if i find out i'm going the right way then jesus it better be good after attempting all this. Whoa! There you go, guys. Can you see that smoke coming up from that? Can you see that? You can't really see it, but believe me, there is smoke coming out. I'm sure I'll get all the silver paper. Anyway, so this is left. This comes from the uh, monasteries of France. A big, big bottle. 750 mil. And it's 6.6%, and it's only quarter to six <laughs> on a Friday night. So anyway, it goes. To be honest, it could have been a bit colder. It could have been a bit colder, but it is the first one of the night, so they're bound to get cooler. Uh, yeah, blonde or blonde. Blonde, Blondie uh, beer from the uh, French monasteries. Uh, I didn't get any of the uh, stuff on the back. Once it comes into focus, it doesn't come into fucking focus at all. Look. Come to it. There we go. Uh, seven foot, uh, six point six percent volume. Uh, It's got like a, it's got like a fruity, fruity tang to it, not the usual lager. Um, uh, we're going on French lagers, of course. You got the Cronenberg sixteen sixty four, always good, always good beer. This is more your, um, because of the size of the bottle as well. You know, like if you were sitting down having a meal with your wife, you could like you know even share your, share your, share your beer, guys. <laughs> You can even pour her a small one as well. Um, it'd probably go all right with a meal. Oh, but no. Oh, fuck. That tang is getting worse. But if you're going to sit down, you know, if you're going to be sitting down having a session, or you, you know, you just want to put your feet up and watch the football, and you, you just want a two or three beers, you know, to watch a movie or something like that. This is probably not the one to have, uh, I would suggest. But I think that if you um, if you were sitting down for a meal, I'm just trying. To, I'd imagine it would go well with a. Um, oh, it you know, like 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 roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah. Yeah, roast beef. I think you'd have to have like a sort of like a red meat with it. It'd be no good with any takeaways, from pizzas to kebabs. This is not the beer to go with that. It's definitely like um, it's a more uh, it's, as it's French, it's more sort of cultured. It's more of a cultured taste. Um, so probably if you were sitting down, like I say, sitting down with the missus, having a meal, and uh, you didn't fancy wine. Um, but to be honest, if I had the choice, if I was going to sit down with my lovely wife 
and have a meal and have a choice between a beer or a nice bottle of red I'd pick the bottle of red guys <laughs> I mean uh, I, won't, I won't mess around I'll, I'll get, go with the wine but uh, if you like beers that are fruity I know like some of them come out with like strawberries and strawberry flavoured and um, gooseberry flavoured or even though the chocolate flavoured beer that was filthy whoa and uh, but if you do like your fruity if you are a bit fruity yourself and you like a fruity beer you couldn't go too far wrong with this this is this bottle cost um uh, sorry about the cameras guys i don't know maybe um i need to polish the uh thing up a bit if you can see that a bit better there but yeah um 750 ml bottle 6.6 percent .6 from asta i think it cost me about two and a half quid two pound fifty um i would suggest to keep your money and buy a good bottle a good decent bottle of uh, if you want if you definitely want to go for french i'll go for cronenberg or you know go for one of the indians you know like cobra elephant or yeah something like that but uh yeah out of ten i mean oh i would go, honestly go oh, five five but I don't want to be like wrong. Yeah, you know, I don't want to sort of criticise it that much. It's just that I don't like um, fruit flavoured beers. So, um, so I'm still going to give it a five because it's my video and I can give whatever I want to. <laughs> That's the beauty of YouTube. But uh, yeah, if you like fruity beers, you might give it higher. But uh, I don't like fruity beers, so that's it. Uh, so that's uh, left. You can see the fucking size. Of the bottle's fucking huge, guys. You know. And uh, I mean, you can you can always hit your wife over the head with it later. That's good. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Two pound fifty a bottle. Save your money, guys. Um, take care. Um, see you later. Have a great weekend, guys. It's the weekend.